So I just switched over to tubeless tires in my bike, uh, which pretty, mean, pretty much means I'm not using tubes anymore within the tires. Uh, I, there's just a strip of tape around the inside of the rim and it's filled with this like silicone uh, mixture that actually kind of plugs the holes in the tire. So theoretically, if I get a hole in my tire, uh, that silicone glue will just plug it up and I won't need to worry about uh, replacing the tube or anything and the tire in theory can't really go flat assuming the um, any holes I get are not too uh, catastrophic. I just put pump a little bit more air in it and it'll be fine until I get home. So I am uh, adjusting my pack a little bit. I'm not carrying two tubes anymore. Uh, you still need to carry, or a lot of people still carry a tube just in case you have a really catastrophic failure and you can't plug the hole. Uh, you could just pop a tube in there. Um, I need to buy, they have these little things called like, I think people call them bacon strips. They're little pieces of uh, rubber you can jam in holes as well. Uh, I need to order some of those. But in the meantime, I'm just packing up my kit again. It's been empty for a while. I'm gonna go on a short bike ride today. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out what I should carry now. Uh, I'm still gonna carry the tire, tire levers, a small pump, a multi-tool, and I'm debating if I should still carry uh, two patches, but they're so small, I'll probably keep carrying it for a while. So This is going to be a little bit smaller than it's been in the past, since I can carry one less tube. Yeah, once I get this ready, I'm going to go for a quick bike ride. Fall is my favorite time for bike rides and hiking, so I'm pretty excited about getting out today. I haven't been out as much as I would, have, would like to, but I've done a review on this pack and I've also done like a bike e studio, so you can check that out if you'd like. I'll put a link to that somewhere, probably in the description. So let's get this ready. I need to put some air in my bike tires. Uh, one thing about the tubeless thing is I notice uh, I do need to pump it up more often. It doesn't hold air as well. Um, with tubes, I would go sometimes like two or three weeks without adding air into my tires. Uh, these ones seem to be, go about a week before I need to um, kind of add about 5 PSI or something back into it to keep it at around uh, 30 PSI. So I'm going to hook this back up, going to go change into some more appropriate bike clothing. I'm going to start using my gloves again. I did a review on these gloves for biking as well, so you can check that out as well in the description. So let's get out and start uh, getting ready to leave.
every time I filmed a video and I came out on this trail, uh, it seems like it's rained pretty hard. So I'm starting to wonder if me filming uh, just jinxes it because I've never had bad luck when I have uh, haven't filmed on this trail. Uh, you can see my other videos on this trail. I've done it quite a few uh, of them now. But I'm hoping the rain holds out. Uh, it looks kind of iffy, but we'll see. So we'll get started right now. Made it back without rain. That's another ride. I'll see everybody out there. 